guys, this is Nick at stridewise.com and I am here at the Red Wing store in Midtown Manhattan yeah. with Christian. G'day Christian. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for coming onto the channel. Uh, Christian manages the, uh, the store here and he's here to help us answer the question that is, I imagine, the most common question that uh, you get in your day-to-day yep. -day life, which is how do you size Red Wing boots? Because in boots, across the entire industry, this is not just a Red Wing thing, Boots are typically a very different size to what your true size is, and that is usually very different to what your sneaker size is. Yep. So it's just like way more difficult and complicated than a lot of people assume it's gonna be. But Christian's gonna help us break it down. Yep. Christian, when people come up to you and they say, how do your shoes fit? What, what do you normally sell? Well, the first and foremost piece is we need to size you. We need to figure out what your size would be on a Brannock. This is a pretty classic device from here in New York, actually. Um, it was created to help figure out what a shoe size would be. So this is kind of our base knowledge that we need is kind of figuring out what your length is, uh, what your width is, and what your ball length is, and then we can make some educated decisions as far as what we can bring out. And definitely the challenges that we see when it comes to our, the heritage variety uh, really are based on them being more classic designs in the way that they're created, they're styled, they fit inside. There's a lot of different things that we want to talk about uh, when it comes to fitting, not just of what's going on with their feet, but also what a correct fitting pair of boots uh, would be at that point. Yeah, and they uh, and what's also really worth emphasizing here is that uh, all these different boots here are made on different lasts. The last is the kind of foot-shaped mold that a boot is built around. So we're gonna go through all of the most popular Red Wing boots so you can figure out like what your sizing is gonna be in each of them. Now, most of them are gonna be the same size, but each of them have different kind of particularities that might fit different sorts of widths and uh, different sort of sorts of feet and different accommodations as well. So let's... If it's okay with you, do you want to start off with the Iron Ranger? Yeah, we can definitely start off with this the Iron Ranger. The prototypical, very uh, iconic Red Wing boot. This is your personal favorite, do you think? <sighs> Between that and the Mock Toe, I don't know. It's a tough sell, it's a tough sell, <laughs> definitely. When we talk about the Iron Rangers, uh, it's really about a good tread, treaded bottom that gives you some good slip resistance and good usage throughout most of the year. Um, it's a pretty good last. The 8 last works pretty well for most uh, fits. Like I said, it has a very open front, like I said, a classic design, a nice six inch uh, height. When we talk about fitting, this usually runs about a half size to a full size down from your shoe size on the Brannock. So we definitely recommend coming into our locations or kind of figuring out what a good shoe size for you would be. Uh, from there, it's really making sure that we are secure in the width without much slip in the heel, without anything feeling more than a firm handshake feel. You're gonna hear me say that a lot. Firm handshake is kind of what we're looking for in all the different lasts, something that feels secure and comfortable without any extreme pressure or anything feeling uncomfortable. Yeah, so this is the number eight last from Red Wings, the same last that the, uh, the blacksmith is made on, right? Yes, same So time. it's very important to note here, a lot of people, they're ordering online, right? And so they're gonna have, look at their pair of sneakers, gonna say, well, I'm a size 12 in my Adidas and my Chuck Taylors, uh, so, you know, I'll get an 11.5. Your sneakers are almost certainly a half size bigger than your true size, right? So you really do need to get yourself measured on a Brannock device, or there are some places online where you can, like, you can sort of print out, like, a rough sort of Brannock if you get the measurements right, and you can figure it out that way. For me, personally, uh, most of my sneakers are a 12, mm -hmm. I'm an 11, I'm actually like 11.75-ish on a Brannock device, okay. and I'm an 11 in, in Red Wing boots. So if there's like a broad strokes answer to the question of how to size Red Wing boots, figure out your Brannock device size, take half size off from that, and don't trust your sneaker size, because yeah. those are gonna be all over the place. Yeah, as far as we've seen, sneakers are notoriously for running a bit snug and a bit short, so now, I've definitely seen it. Yeah, so as far as the particularities of the number eight last go, um, like, what, what, are, what, are, what, what do you emphasize here? Like, is there like a lot of room in the instep or not much room in the heel? Like, what's There is some more room. It's a bit more bulbous when it comes to the front of the shoe itself. It's a little bit lower over profile when we kind of compare it to the uh, uh, 23 last when it comes to the mock toes. They have space in different ways. Um, we definitely have confidence that most people are going to be able to find a fit within our family of products as long as we're taking into account the core uh, things that we need to kind of check off in order to make sure that it will break in well. Because that's a big challenge for a lot of people is not just getting the right size, but also finding the size that you're able to break in. Like these shoes are a bit stiffer. They're created in a classic design. They really haven't changed since their original inception. This is a boot from the 1920s. I think the mock toes are from the 50s and 60s. So they've definitely been around for quite a while. Um, so not only are they, like I said, a classic and good looking pair of shoes, but it's also an experience into what the people of before definitely used while they were working. 
All right, so the Iron Ranger, it has a, a, a fair amount of room in the toe, not as much as the mock toe, but it still is. Some people come sometimes use the word like, well, they, they'll say it's roomy around the toe. Comes in a D width and uh, often in a double E, right? Often in double E for some of our top colors, yes. Okay, cool. All right, that's the Iron Ranger. So how is that different to the other most famous, most iconic Red Wing yeah. boot, the, the Mock Toe? The Mock Toes have definitely have a bit more space and the instep a bit higher. It feels roomy in a different way than the 8 last. In my experience, it's been pretty uh, duplicit when it comes to both different both styles. Like I said, you're going to use about the same size in each one. The differences would be how it kind of holds your feet. Like I said, it would be a little bit better for people with higher insteps to kind of use the mock toes. Uh, we definitely want to talk a lot about uh, making sure that the width always fits well. Like I said, that we're not having a lot of movement. The speed hooks definitely create a different feeling uh, in the Iron Rangers compared to the mock toes and kind of the way we need to cinch our boots. We definitely also recommend a full lacing with all of our products, um, kind of using them a bit lower for style can definitely achieve quite a look, but it can leave you some extra movement work, which can cause some blistering and discomfort. And we really want you to kind of get the best out of our footwear. Okay, so this also comes in, in double E widths yep, as well. Yeah, the 875 right? definitely comes in double E widths. Um, some of the secondary colors are a little bit uh, difficult to get in the wider widths. We don't create them, unfortunately. Um, but like I said, the, our classic 875 and a couple of our other top styles uh, definitely come in the double E's also. Do you ever have anyone who is a different size in the Iron Ranger than the Mock Toe? Um, it would happen more often when it comes to a width past the double E. So some people have H widths, which are very, very wide, where we have to kind of change certain accommodations or any protrusions, like say a really big uh, knuckle on the side or some issues with hammer toes and stuff like that. That's where they can be some variation or a very high instep can cause some variation, but it happens less often than not. It was more about people really knowing what they're getting into when they're buying these type of products, how much break-in it takes, how much time um, it would really be to work in a pair uh, compared to, say, uh, different brands that are definitely more modern and ready to go out of the box. Okay, so if you have a really high instep, there's a decent chance that the Mokka is going to be better fit for you than the Iron Ranger, otherwise fairly general. Yeah. That's number eight last. This is the number 23 last. 23 is that last, right? yeah. All right. The 1907 is our second most iconic color to our 875. Uh, key difference is this one has a removable footbed inside. That is something that can be added to all of our other footwear. Um, granted that we're accommodating for enough space, not making anything too tight, filling up the shoe too much. This one comes standard with a footbed to kind of make them a bit more comfortable. That can change the fit a touch, depending on the customer, That's like because it will raise you a bit higher into the shoe. Is it fair to say that if you're someone who requires like an, an orthotic inset, mm -hmm. this would be the ideal boot for you and the Red Wing family because you can remove the, because there's room there for an insert that the other boots got. When it comes to orthotics, that it always is a challenge. We definitely have a lot of customers that have challenges with their feet that definitely need some specific elements to accommodate. At that point, we have to look at sizing. We might not go that full size down. It might only be a half size and it might only be, it might be true to size depending on the thickness of the orthotic itself. Um, it is something that Red Wing can accommodate and make happen within our doors as well. Uh, as far as talking about orthotic insoles, and we do have options that work a bit better with our heritage products to not be as thick as some of the uh, products that people can find elsewhere. All right, okay. That's the mock toes. Uh, we have a lot of chuckers here, but the chuckers are in different lasts. Yeah, right? chuckers are in different lasts. All right, so this is... We're this is the Weekender Chukka. Weekender Chukka. Uh, this is a bit more of a kind of, I would I call it a bit of a hybrid. Like I said, it's built in heritage design. Like it's definitely a classic look using one of our top leathers, using the copper, uh, but a bit more flexible in comparison to a, a bit more of our cork sold midsoles. And this one, same thing. It has an even thicker uh, removable footbed. So this is a very good accommodating uh, factor for someone who wants a heritage design, but maybe doesn't necessarily want a two month, a, a two week to a month break in. Yeah, so and these I've got, I, this is made with a stitch down construction as well, right? Yeah, so it is a stitch down that construction. Makes it a bit more flexible. I have the weekend at Chelsea, which mm -hmm. is, this is the same construction, same last, yes. right? Yeah, and it's definitely very noticeably, it's, uh, it's, it's more, it's easy to break in and it's more flexible. Uh, and when you're just like chucking on some boots to go out and walk the dog or something, I'm, I'm a big fan of the weekend ones. Mm -hmm. Fit wise, what's different about this for folks? This one wouldn't run as large since it has a thicker footbed. This would be a little closer to a true to size to half size down situation. Um, it, it's very welcoming to people who don't necessarily need more or want something so intense as the more classic styles. Um, are the qualities and uh, 
creation of the boot itself are still true to the heritage design, still using our thickest graded leather. It's still something that is resolable and can stick around for a very long time with maintenance. Um, it's just a bit more accommodating to a modern foot. That would be the difference. Okay. Last one, we have the uh, work, the work chucker. The work chucker. Mm -hmm. How is this any different? I mean, this this is a Goodyear well, whereas this is stitched down. Yeah. So this is uh, still this is the rules for this one are going to be closer to these other ones. Like yes. Still going to be sizing down. It will be closer to the other ones. We will be sizing down for them. Uh, key differences you see here from the mock toes to the Iron Rangers, it's a more pointed front. Definitely makes it a bit more snug in the width. Plus the way that it's stitched here at the top does make it a bit lower in the instep. So say people with a bit wider of a foot or a little higher of an instep, it could be a challenge getting into the foot and breaking them in. So we might only go about a half size down, but this is definitely one that we recommend trying on uh, before purchasing just because it is a more challenging fit. It's a bit different uh, than when we talk about the other heritage products. And it can be a challenge for people say with wider feet or higher insteps to really break in and be comfortable in. Okay. All right, um, the last thing that we wanted to mention with this sizing is we wanted to touch on the women's sizes, which are all made like differently to, to the men's boots, right? I, I'm a bit jealous of the women Red Wing customers sometimes because they get access to a lot of really cool leathers that the men yes. don't have, uh, like this like really cool kind of like buttery, uh, yeah. is, is this a rough out or is it sweet? It's a rough out, yeah. Yeah, it's a really nice rough out. There's a lot of really cool colors that uh, mm -hmm. only the women's boots get. And my understanding is that the women's boots, while these are all on different lasts, as a rule, they're made uh, to like a B width, uh, mm -hmm. whereas the men's are made to a D width, right? Yeah. Um, as far as when it comes to the sizing of the women's variety, it's only about a half size to maybe true to size, depending on the person. Uh, the B widths can, uh, like I said, be a bit snug for certain customers, but same thing. It's really about trying on the shoes and making sure you're understanding uh, about the break-in process, about uh, really working in the leather, but it is considerably like you spoke of, different colors, a little bit lighter, a little more flexible, uh, plus a pour-on footbed in comparison to where the men's, uh, for the most part, have leather inside. So they are definitely a bit softer, a bit easier to wear. Uh, we use a more supple leather on the ladies' varieties also, so not as much break-in, because they're inspired by the men's styles, but in a more approachable versions. Definitely very comfortable. The Iron Rangers still work with the same type of vibrant tread bottom, giving you some good slip resistance and a great look for the winter time. And like uh, we mentioned here, the colors when it comes to the ladies variety, they're definitely a bit more creative, a little bit different, while these are heritage in the ways that these have really haven't changed since the beginning and we're trying to really keep them as timeless as they've always been. Uh, the ladies, this is definitely a very attractive boot and like you said, I'm, I'm quite jealous because I love a rough out leather and this one is fantastic. So if you, I think I've seen, because I bought my, my girlfriend a pair of the uh, of, of Red Wing Chelsea's and mm -hmm. it said to order true to size on, on mm -hmm. the website, right? So all this advice about sizing down when you're getting these boots, you, you that, that's actually not what you typically, you typically order your normal size uh, on the on Normal the size, side. but kind of, it's the same idea. We have to know what our true shoe size is. If we are a bit on the wider side, uh, definitely true to size would be a better way to go, especially in a B width. All right, okay, so to sum up, on the women's side, uh, you're likely gonna order true to size. On the men's side, you're likely gonna go down to half size, but there's tremendous variation in everyone's feet. Above all, just walk into your nearest shoe store, pretend you're gonna get a pair of sneakers or something, just get, get your foot on a bionic device, find out what your bionic size is. <laughs> likely you're gonna subtract like a half down from that, right? And then after that, uh, some of these are better for like higher insteps, some of them are better for like wider balls of feet and so yep. on. This is all stuff you're gonna figure out from your bionic device. But in general, uh, half size down from bionic size, probably about what your bionic size is. These are running B widths, these are mostly D widths, and uh, some of the models have a wider widths than that. It depends on the model and how popular it is. And uh, if at all possible, make sure you go to Red Wing store to visit a guy like Christian who will be able to have a better idea as to which particular model is going to be ideal for your foot's particularities. But yep. generally, top size down. Yep. All right. Okay, cool. All right. Well, that's it. Um, look, if you are in uh, Manhattan at any point, make absolutely certain you come to the Midtown store here. We're on 32nd Street, right? 32nd between 6th and 7th, yes. Yeah, come on by and they'll take care of you. And uh, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. All thanks right, a lot. Thank you. Take care.